Hello friends, today the topic for our learning session is tabulation method. We have learned different techniques for Boolean expression simplification using Boolean laws like identity law, idempotence law, associative law, distributive law, de Morgan's law, and many such other postulates. The next method is Carnot map, which is well known as K map. Two variable K map, three variable K map, four and five variable K map. Now, today we are going to learn a new method that is twin Maklowski method, which is also known as tabulation method. We can easily simplify the Boolean expression up to six variables using KML. But what about the Boolean expressions comprising of more than six variables? The simplification of such expressions becomes complicated using KML. Thereby, at that point of time, tabulation method is handy to be used. This method is suitable for hand computation as well as the computation by machines that is, it is easily programmable. The steps to be followed for carrying out the tabulation method. The first thing is to list all the min terms in the ascending order. The second thing is to arrange all the min terms in such a manner that each group comprises of equal number of ones. For example, triple zero one and double zero one zero, that is one and two in the decimal, comprises of one single one in a group. Similarly, if we consider the example of zero zero one one, that is decimal three, and zero one zero one, that is decimal five, comprising of two ones, are allocated in a single group. The next step is to compare these successive groups. Whenever we find a change in only one bit, we place underscore sign or we can say the dash sign at that position. For example, on comparing four zeros and triple zero one, we will be getting the change in the LSB bit, that is the new term would be triple zero and a dash. The fourth step would to repeat this above step that is step number three and to continue this step of combinations between the successive groups until and unless we are obtained with prime implicants. The next step is to formulate the prime implicant table where we will be obtaining the essential prime implicants. Repeat this above process until and unless we are reduced with the essential prime implicant and thereby we can obtain the Boolean equation. We don't need to worry about these steps at the moment. We will be solving all these steps by taking an example. Let's take the example. Here the given example comprises of the min terms 0, 1, 6, 7, 8, 9, 13, 14, and 15. I have written already the binary equivalent of these min terms. Now we will be grouping it in terms of number of ones in the binary representation. That is, the decimal zero comprises of zero ones in a group. One and eight comprises of single one. Decimal six and nine comprises of two ones. Similarly, seven, thirteen and fourteen comprises of three number of ones and fifteen comprises of four ones. Now, we would be clubbing all these min terms in a group in such a manner that each group comprises of equal number of ones. For example, index 0 comprises of 0 ones. Index 1 comprises of single one. Index 2 with two ones and so on. Now, 
our next task would be to pair the successive group and to obtain the column number 2. Now we will be comparing the successive groups. For example, on comparison of index 0 and index 1, we can find that here there is a change in the LSP bit whenever we are comparing 0 and 1. And so as per our rule, we will be writing over here three zeros and dash since we are having the change in the LSP bit. Similarly, on comparing 0 with 8, we can observe that there is a change in the MSP bit. And so we will be writing dash in place of MSP and keeping the remaining bits as it is. That is dash and triple zero. Now we will be comparing between index 1 and index 2 and on comparison with 1 and 9 we can observe that the change in MSP bit. That is dash and keeping the remaining bits as it is that is 0, 0, 001. Similarly on comparing with 8 and 9 we can observe that 1300 and 1001 that is the change in the LSP bit. So we will be writing over here 100 and dash. Similarly we will be comparing index 2 with index 3 and index 3 with index 4 and obtain this entire table number 2. This is the table number 2 that we have obtained on successive comparison of the groups of column 1. Now we will be repeating the same procedure to obtain column number 3 that is comparing the two successive groups 0, 1 and 8, 9 you will be getting the change in the MSB and keeping the remaining terms as it is that is dash double zero dash and obtain in column number 3. The next comparison would be between 0, 8 and 1, 9 and it would result in the same answer that is dash double zero dash so we won't be repeating the same column. Now on comparison between the next two groups you will be getting over here 6, 7 with 14, 15 to obtain dash double one dash since there is a change in the MSP bit. Similarly 6, 14 and 7, 15 would result into this already existed min term. Here, on obtaining column number 3, we can see that the min terms like 913, 1315 and the terms in column number 3 are not further paired. That is, they have the change in more than one bit in their binary representation. Let's give them the name as P, Q, R and S. Since the further pairing of these four terms is not possible, they are called as prime implicants. Now, the next step would be to prepare the prime implicants table. The min terms corresponding to P are 9 and 13. Similarly, those corresponding to Q are 13 and 15. Let's put tick in front of those min terms. For example, P with 9 and 13, Q with 13 and 15 and so on. Now on observing the entire table, we can say that 0 can only be covered with R. Min term 1 can only be covered with R and the same min term 8 can only be covered with the inclusion of R. That's why R is called as our essence of prime implicant. On covering R, we can also cover the min term number 9. Now, on further observation, we can include S in our list of essence of prime implicants covering min term 6, 7, 14, and also 15. That means it is essential to include these two min terms that is R and S expression in our final Boolean expression in order to cover the given set of min terms. Here after the 
definition of R and S as essential prime equivalents, we are left with only one metum that is metum 13, which can be covered with P as well as Q. So, we would be taking either P or Q in our final Boolean expression and the final Boolean expression would be equal to R plus S which are our essential prime implicant and plus P or plus Q that is R plus S plus P or R plus S plus Q. We can include either of P or Q in our final Boolean expression. Now let's have the final Boolean expression in terms of A, B, C and D which are the variables. R corresponds to let's say in our previous column number 3 our R corresponds to dash double zero dash and we will be mapping the same thing over here that is R is equal to dash double zero dash that is B bar C bar. Similarly S is dash double one dash that is B and C. Q is one one dash one that is A B B. P is A C bar D. And the final Boolean equation which would be our reduced Boolean equation would be equal to R plus S plus P that is B bar C bar plus B C plus A B D or R plus S plus Q that is B bar C bar plus B C plus A C bar D. Now I request you all to please pause the video over here and solve the given set of min terms. The answer for this is given in terms of column 1 and column 2. Column 2 is obtained after the pairing of the successive groups of column 1. From column 2, we can obtain the essential prime implicants reduced table and the final previous Boolean equation is as shown over here. Thank you.